This video is about how to prepare and deliver pre-masters or mastering ready mixes. For the best possible result of the mastering, you should try to deliver as high quality files as possible, preferably WAV or AIFF files, which are both uncompressed audio file types. If possible, please avoid sending compressed audio files, such as MP3s, AACs, or other MPEG formats. But if that's all you got and your original recording was in that format, then I will work with that anyway. Regarding sample rates, I can work with any sample rate up to 192 kilohertz. But you should always keep the original sample rate of your production from mix and recording to mastering. So please do not apply up or down sampling before mastering. In other words, if you record it in 16 bits at 44.1 kHz, you should stay in that resolution and deliver your files in that resolution for mastering. Or if you record it in 32 bits at 192 kHz, you should deliver in that resolution. Please do not apply dithering, since dithering and noise shaping is only necessary when you change bit depth. If necessary, I will be doing some dithering or noise shaping at the end of the mastering chain, but only if we're going from a higher bit depth to a lower bit depth, like from 32 bits to 16 bits, for instance. Now let's talk references and how you can get the best result of the mastering. It makes my job a lot easier if you provide two mixes. One mix will work as a reference to what you've been listening to with all plugins or hardware included on the master bus. Feel free to apply heads and tail durations or fades if you have specific wishes to this mix file. This gives me a guideline or reference to what you've actually been listening to before mastering. Regarding the other file, the pre-master, please bypass any limiters, maximizers or width enhancers you have on the master bus. Avoid by all means digital clipping and try to keep a maximum peak level around minus 3 to minus 4 dB to leave headroom for mastering. Please do only apply master bus compression if it's a coloring or character choice. And please do not apply master bus compression if it's to achieve loudness or hotter levels. Before bouncing your pre-master, be aware to capture the first milliseconds at the start of the track and all the reverb and delay tails at the end of the track. By all means, do not normalize the pre-master, but please listen to it before delivery, especially if you're doing offline bouncing. If you're sending more than one song and they're supposed to relate to each other in a sequence, please name the files accordingly. Position number, underscore, song or track name. This makes it much easier for me to get the sequence correct from the start. Another thing I use a lot is what I call external references. This can be any piece of music that so to speak exists in the real world. Music that you really like and feel acquainted with, preferably in the same genre as your music to work as a reference tool. This type of reference can be very helpful since it provides what I call an open window to the real world and gives me insight in what you adore sound-wise. Please send me the external reference as well, preferably as a file, but a link is also fine. One last and important thing. Please let me know from the get-go which format or platform the master should be used for, and if you need other alternative versions of the master, like a radio edit, a singback or an acapella, for instance. If you have any questions whatsoever regarding this information overload, please do not hesitate to write or call me directly, or write your questions in the comments below, which will make the questions and answers available for everybody. Thanks for watching.